Hey, what's up you guys? Shardmas Prime here doing another Marvel Legends toy review for the Marvel Legends Hasbro Cannonball. Um, this figure was just traded to me uh, by uh, with uh, Bath Productions and uh, I want to say thank you. Uh, he's a good kid. I traded him my Weapon X uh, Wolverine for this figure. I thought it was a pretty damn good trade. Um, my Wolverine uh, Weapon X did have that uh, little tube that did break off, but um, I did super glue it back together and I sent it to him. And um, yeah, so um, felt kind of bad about that, but there is a little bit of wear on this figure that I can notice. There's a tear right here in his jacket, you know, and I saw a video of him like really pulling on this thing and snapping on it and stuff like that, but. Um, but overall, I think it was a very good trade. Um, this is a Hasbro release. Like I said before, it comes in the Marvel Legends 2-pack with him and Domino. Uh, I really need that fucking Domino figure, and I also really want Cable uh, even more than ever. So it's I like, feel like I can't uh, get satisfied, even though I just got Deadpool. But it'll be a while until I get myself a Cannonball. So anyway, on to the figure. Enough of my personal collection, right? Um... The paint detailing on this figure is not very good, um, but for a figure overall, I think he's very good for a Hasbro. This is probably one of the better Hasbro figures. It really is. Um, there's a lot of um, there's there's no detailing anywhere throughout the figure as far as um, color goes. Okay, like as far as like adding shades of black or anything like that. Um, the only part that actually does have anything that anything that resembles that is the uh, is the hair over here. So there is a little bit of dirty blonde mixed in there. So I think that's I think that's cool. Um, but he does consist of basically four colors. He has this um, this purplish, bluish purple, um, the brown, silver, and white and none of which have any detail involved whatsoever so there's not and he does have pegs in the bottom of his feet I always try to look out for that but uh, I have a special type of pose for this figure and um, usually don't reveal a lot of uh, I, I don't really get into detail about like my uh, individual or my like my special effects you know what I mean they're not real special effects but you know with my poses so I'm gonna show you guys something that I think is very cool my dorky ass just spent a half hour making it so I have a my own prop for this guy and I'm gonna show it to you at the after I'm done uh, reviewing this thing hopefully I'll have time but um so anyway um one two two major noticeable things for me on this guy uh first off this thing's made out of this rubbery it's like kind of like storms cape type of material very flexy type of material which I thought was kind of funny because I don't know why they would want to do that it's just so weird to me like, why would you want to make this made out of that shit it's just kind of weird um, not that I have a big problem with it besides this little bit of a tear right here but you know it's kind of awkward now it's only this section that has it so this lower torso part has none of it it's just this upper section this is plastic on the white and it wraps around over here and everything okay second thing I noticed that I really don't like about the figure is that his biceps are extremely tiny there is no super no superhero should have you know skinny ass fucking arms like this this is just way too scrawny looking it looks fucking weird I mean his biceps are are skinnier than his forearms it's like true Popeye shit it's weird so yeah so those are the only you know those are the two big noticeable things I, I got from this figure um, so not a paint detailing there's silver right here on the buckles and stuff which I actually really like which I really think adds to the figure so it makes him look pretty cool um, the articulation is is okay pretty standard um, I mean my only complaint about the articulation really is that I wish the head could tilt back more it doesn't move much at all this is as far back as the head goes so if you want him in his like flying pose or something you gotta you know you have to go like that just basically turn the torso up and the head doesn't even really move down. It just tilts up a little bit. Doesn't really move down at all. That's him looking. That's as far down as he'll go, which is basically just looking straight. Uh, the sh he has dual sh shoulder joints, so it's like these back joints mixed with the shoulder joints. He has this tiny little ball joint right there. He could spin around and everything. Double jointed elbows, forearm joint, wrist joint moves up and down. Fingers move together as a clamp, you know. And same thing with the other side. 
He has the waist joint, torso joint, which I probably just said two seconds ago. Um, ball joint for the leg, moves front and back nicely. Um, double jointed knees, and this is probably the first Marvel Legend where I really noticed that he has actual, like, these rivets inside the knee joint right here. Can you see that? I've never really noticed that, and I don't think that's really that cool. <laughs> but, um... You can actually see it's like, it looks like gears, so that's the first time I've seen that in, in this type of figure. But I really like the pads. I think the costume looks cool, even though I do. There are different uh, cannonball costumes that I've seen that I prefer. I kind of like the blue and yellow one. But um, yeah. So and then he has the uh, calf joint right here on the boot. I really like how it's shiny plastic over here. It's kind of very leathery look. Um, foot moves up and down. Side moves side to side enough a little bit and he does have toe joints and he has hole pegs for the bottoms of his feet okay so I spent a half hour making this base uh, the base I made for him is basically I took a pocket knife and I kinda kinda shaved his crotch a little bit which is kinda funny but I shaved his crotch so his legs can get a little bit closer and basically what you do is um, I use this uh, fa fantastic form movie uh, base from the Human Torch, and I hollowed it out, and I took out all the electronics. So, let's see. I'm gonna try to do all this on camera because I don't, you know, I don't even bother fucking doing any editing, editing software. So please be patient with me. So, if you have this same base, I recommend you do it yourself. Just be careful. Don't cut yourself like how I did. Um, so you bend the knees all the way back as much as you can, and try to fold the legs together in a way where you're gonna you're gonna try to hide his feet from behind him as much as you can so he's like this right okay now you're gonna follow me on the other side of the room all right uh, right there for a second Not the best time, best way I ever set him up. But there he goes. That is Cannonball right there. Now when I get my X-Men set up, he's going to be fucking sick as hell. I'm really excited about that. Very, very cool to me. I'm really digging it. I had to hollow out all the electronics in this thing. Uh, here's all the electronics and shit. There's a garbage can full of orange, orange and yellow scrapings. But there's my cannonball. So I'm very stoked about this. I had to break this off and turn it around because it's supposed to go the other way. And uh, I took a twisty tie and a clear push pin leaning against there like I usually do. Which I really recommend you guys do. Use those push pins. I had a couple of people tell me like, oh, I started u using uh, clear push pins because of you, Shardimus. Hey, I think that's really, really cool. So, yeah, I recommend you guys, if you happen to have this... That shitty ass movie figure. Uh, it's actually not that bad of a movie figure, but I never had a use for the base until now. So, um, yeah, I think that looks really, really cool. I'm really stoked off of that. I'm really happy with this. Cannot wait to get my X Men set up back, and I can't wait to get Cable and Domino to add to it. Alright, thanks for watching this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.